So a quick video on using GBS control with this GBS 8200 uh, with a microcontroller for Chrono Cross. So I have on my desk here this GBS 8200 board, component inputs, a VGA output, and I've got this microcontroller wired up to it. I've got a line soldered onto a debug pin, a few lines jumpered here, and just a little jumper to put it in override mode. It's a bit of a mess. Uh, I'm not really a electronics guy. I'm having trouble like, keeping this thing angled. I'm not really much of an electronics guy, so some of the soldering is a bit of a mess and messed up uh, ground pad, which is why there's this yellow jumper here, because this thing's kind of messed up. But anyway, there's just a few pins wired up to it. Some programming uh, sent to it through the Arduino IDE. This VGA cable here, this output cable, is going into my OSSC. Um, it's going into an HDMI switch, which is then going into my PC. GBS control has an interface, so you connect it to your Wi-Fi or it broadcasts its own Wi-Fi. Got a web interface, so right now I have it in 40 by 480 pass-through mode. Um, you can change some settings, like uh, I can change the deinterlacing mode. So if you look at the capture real quick, you can see there are some scanline artifacts, right? But Overall, it looks like okay. Uh, but if I switch to Bob the interlacing just through the web interface here, it goes crazy. Uh, back to motion adaptive. There's some input output sync options. You can tell it to scale the output. Um, there's options for like scaling and moving the picture around, borders, and all that stuff. Honestly. It's on default, except for the resolution output. I put it on 480 since it's going through the OSSC. And the bane of Chrono Cross, right, is the switching. So, I'm seamlessly switching between 240 and 480. Or 240p and 480i, I should say. Specifically, I'm playing this on my monitor. I've got the capture up. This is capturing through the data path, same as my normal stream setup. The, I don't have cropping or scaling or anything like that set up right. I haven't played around to see if I could reduce any of these uh, the tearing artifacts that you're getting. I assume that's because the output signal rate is different from the input signal rate. Um, there are a couple of options in here for sync methods. Um, none of them really seem to be doing anything. Ah, well that one's losing signal. So that's obviously not the one we want. But this one's fine. Um, again, I've got this on my, my 4K monitor, um, and it looks exactly the same as it does through the data path, so I'm getting the same tearing. I may have to reset this. Uh, uh, the buttons on the web interface are a little bit weird in that like neither of the frame locks were were like pressed in and uh, once I pressed it once it turned on and it like got darker or whatever to indicate it was selected and then when I pressed it again it turned off and there's a, like a debug line. 
there's like a debug console about the settings that happen. But um, the the button still looks pressed right now, even though it's off. But yeah, it's all working really smoothly. No issues. Again, the the menus look kind of bad. Um, and I have no idea what to do about this mess. Like, I don't have component easily wired up. I need to figure out how to like tape up the um, the jumpers into the into the controller and try to make it so this doesn't fall apart the second I move it. Uh, I don't usually use component, so my PS2 wiring is a bit of a mess. Like. I don't know. I don't know that I'd recommend it without like, really thinking about how you wanted to handle the physical aspect of it, or unless you had a very specific purpose in mind. This is certainly not something I'm going to leave up, hooked up all the time, but it seems to work well. So that's just a general overview of it. I've got the, the white border here. Is, oops, the white border on the game capture is just an OBS, so you can see. Again, there's no cropping. I do have scaling set, but without the cropping, it might be a little bit off. The OSSC, I think, is just in pass-through mode for 480, so this should be coming into the data path at 480. Um, does it look great? I don't know. I don't know this game well enough on console to know how it's normally supposed to look, so... I think it looks okay. There's some checkerboarding type stuff going on, but text looks pretty decent. Um, the scanline fuzziness isn't ideal. So, again, would I recommend it? I don't know, but that's how it works. 